I believe this truth is hidden in the first verses of the first book of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning started with the who? God. In the beginning God, the who, created the heavens and the earth. The what he did. And I don't know if the writers and the translators of the Bible had this in mind or if it occurred to them, but in the second verse, <laughs> that's when we get the why. So the why is not even on the same level as the who and the what. The why is subordinate to the who and the what. The why is underneath the who and the what. The why is not as important as the who. That's why I believe it's even placed in the second verse and not the first. The first and preeminent is the who and the what. Then the why, verse 2. The earth was null and void. It was empty and full of darkness. And the Spirit of God was hovering over it. So basically, the top, the most important thing to help us remain in relationship with God is who He is and doing what He wants us to do. In the beginning, God, the who, created the heavens and the earth. The what and the why is underneath verse 2. Because the earth was null and void. It was empty and full of darkness, and the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over it. So here is God again at the end of everything. So God is in the beginning of it, then He's at the end of it, because He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. It's all about Him. We need to focus on who He is, do what He wants us to do, the why comes later.